I just have a freaking cocker of a track. It is pouring. Good morning, guys. It is the opening day of the main deer season. It's a cool 27 degrees this morning. No tracking snow, unfortunately, but um, we're gonna go for a walk and scout for some sign and maybe see a deer. That's why I got the rifle, so. Um, but I really don't start hunting hard till we at least get some snow. I'm not much of a bare ground hunter. So we'll, uh, we'll continue on and see what happens. Stay tuned. So I made it down to that flowage. It's a little bigger than I thought it was, but um, I didn't find any sign on the way down at all. So I'm gonna turn around here. I'm gonna head back up towards the cut. Head back up towards the cut and see if we can find some sign in here somewhere. Gotta be. It's too good not to be. So but pretty spot down here. Bluebird day. Good morning. It is November 5th and we're heading to the big woods. We have no track of snow, unfortunately. Um, it's gonna be 71 degrees today, so absolutely miserable deer hunting, but we're gonna see what we can make happen. I got my uh, pack rack for us see if we can maybe rattle something in. Front them in, I don't know. I'm going to be heading down towards a bog today. I was looking last night at that warm weather. I feel like they might be hanging around that dark timber and, and uh, wetland. So um, we'll see what happens, but I'll be there in about seven, eight minutes and make my way down to the woods. So stay tuned. Track here, track here, goes up across the river. Got a few more tracks in the sand back here, but there's a swamp down there. And uh, I think that's where I'm gonna go. Hopefully they're circling back to that swamp. There's another road up here, a little ways away. Um, hoping they didn't keep going across that, but um, I think this is a buck track. It doesn't look big by any means but it's signed so we're just going to go with that Like 
that. <laughs> out of his bed. Nice little bull actually. Um, I don't know if I got a good video of it, but I walked, I don't know, 20 feet from where I jumped him. And we got a scrape right here on the ground. Here's the licking branch. We got a rub right here. But there's also I got a rub right here on this tree. I think this is the beginning of a signpost because it's healed up. They've been using it, but it's polished up again. And then we also have another one like that right here. Again, it's a small one, but it's healed up and has been polished again recently. Status update. Still raining. Raining a little bit harder. Um, I'm soaked. But I circled back around that bog, came back to where the uh, rubs were in that scrape. I found a handful more rubs, so he's pretty active in here. It is pouring. Absolutely pouring. Holy cow. Get across here without falling in. That'd be nice. We're getting soaked. Oh, this is not the safest. It is coming down hard. I am soaked to the bone. Wait. Okay guys, it is November 13th and we are finally, you can kind of see it coming down. We got some snow. So, in the morning, I think I am heading to the mountains where there'll be a little bit more. And uh, I'm, I mean, I might not have to. It's snowing pretty good here, but we'll uh, we'll head north and see if we can't get a deer. So, stay tuned. Morning, guys. It's November fourteenth. Um, we got some snow last night, not much down here. Um, so I'm gonna head up into the mountains where they got a little bit more, hopefully. Um, about 20 degrees, 19 degrees, so it's pretty cold out. Guys, there is snow on the ground. We are gonna track a deer, hopefully. Yep. Plenty of track and snow, so let's see if we can cut a track. Got my stacker glove. Glove, I should say. Shameless plug, but. Oh, guys. We already have a track right here. Are you kidding me? Oh, yeah. Alright, guys, so. some more tracks and then I found this lone track single track um, which isn't I mean it ain't but 60 yards from those other tracks I found but um, it looks the biggest out of anything I mean I don't know if you can see it right there on the camera I don't know if it's pointing at it but I mean it looks <sighs> it's definitely not the biggest track that followed but I think it's the biggest in here doesn't look too bad. It's dragging its feet a little bit. So, alright, so that track I followed down here. It looks like there's some other fresher tracks in here meeting up with this one track. I think it's does. Maybe a small buck. But they're 
I uh, followed the tracks and came through a, a fir tree and on the other side, about 15 yards, a, a doe and a, a good sized spike horn jumped up. Like, probably one of the biggest bodied spike horns I've ever seen. Um, and I mean, he had good spikes on him. I can, kid you not, they're about that tall. They came out kind of curled, but I stopped him at, I don't know, 60 yards. I could have shot him, but. Spike horn's not really what I'm looking for. Something a little bigger. I mean, we don't need the meat this year. We got plenty with the bear that Cooper and Tanner shot and the moose me and Tanner shot. And... Good morning, guys. It is November 17th. Um, it's about 27 degrees outside right now. Um, so, pretty decent. Um, we had snow yesterday snowed all day yesterday um, we probably got six inches or so here um, and it varies in spots but roughly around six seven inches um, great track and snow it's quiet it holds the track pretty well so I'm pumped about that and uh, I'm gonna go ahead to a spot and if I cut a track from the road great but if not I got a spot I'm gonna go walk into and see if I can cut a track that way and just put on the miles today after a deer and try to get one um, but my brother got a deer yesterday completing his main grand slam. It was a nice four pointer. And, um, he tracked that right to its bed and long story short, he missed and finally got it. And it was a whole day, um, ordeal, but it, uh, it worked pretty good for him. Just on a freaking cocker of a track. Oh guys, I went two miles after that deer. He crossed the road twice. Second time he crossed it, someone else picked up his track. So I got cut off. So I'm walking back to my truck and I'm not far from my truck at all, but there's some pretty darn fresh tracks crossing the road back up to where I tracked that first deer. These ones aren't even frozen yet. So it's almost seven o'clock, November 19th, I believe. I put in a big day yesterday tracking, did 10 and a half miles around that um, after a buck and never caught up to him. Never saw him, never heard him, but I did jump him twice. So we're gonna get on this track, 
happened sometime during the night. I don't think it was all that long ago because, I don't know, I think three this morning, four this morning maybe, there was a dusting. Um, I don't know if it happened over here, but I know in town there was a dusting. So, and these aren't really dusted over at all. So, um, I'm going to put my orange on, load my gun, and hit the track. So, stay tuned. We're walking down to the track and see if we can make something happen. Make sure I start my onyx. All right, tracker's on. Oh, and if I forgot to mention, it's 13 degrees this morning with no wind, so it's it's a beautiful morning. The one closer up to my truck is looks like the fresher one and the bigger one. So, oh, it's beautiful this morning, though. It's gonna be hard to sneak up, though. Some of these places are just brutal. Good morning. It's November 21st, I believe. A little chilly out this morning. Snow's kind of loud. It's got a squeak to it. Um, there's no wind yet. I'm hoping it picks up. I heard it was supposed to, so we'll see. See if we can find a crispy track and, and get on it and, and try to make something happen with it. But um, other than that, just gonna try to stay warm today and, and uh, put on some miles. So see what happens. Get on the track. Followed that track for I don't know a mile or so, but uh, there's just too many tracks going every direction. And, uh, we didn't get enough snow last night to you know tell what happened at 8 p.m. last night or 5 a.m. this morning. They all look kind of the same, and they're going every direction. So. I've been driving everywhere this morning, walking places, and it's uh, almost eight o'clock now, quarter of eight, and I finally found a track that I'm gonna go after. Not the freshest, um, but it happens sometime, oh, I'd guess between midnight and now. That's not safe. I don't think any of this is safe. Alright, as long as this don't break under my weight, I think I'll be good. Oh, nice. Whew. 
did it. I saw there was a bed. I wanted to see the tracks coming out of the bed. Easily just smoked them. But... Oh, he was bedded down right here. Here's his bed. Yeah, that's definitely his, not frozen. So I grunted a little bit on the way up. He was right over there where I saw him. I mean, he was a little spike. He had a, like a spike with a brow. And I think he was actually missing his other spike. But I'm going to turn back around and go back on that other track. I just wanted to see where this track went because I saw it was really fresh. So, plus if I shot that spike, I really don't want to drag him all the way out. It's a long ways. Oh, okay, this is what happened. He was feeding. He came over here and bedded down right here so we could see everything. And then I, when I was up here, he jumped and ran right over there. And I, Looked at his backtrack and I don't think he could see me all that way up well. I grunted again and he stopped. But anyway, turn around, we'll go back down to this little uh, uh, this other track down here. So that was cool. Alright guys, so it's uh my last my last day of the main rifle season. Um we leave for Pennsylvania tonight, but uh I'm gonna give it one final shot and see if I can't get it done. Um, cut a fairly good track this morning. It looks decent. I mean, I don't know. It could just be a four pointer with a big foot like that spike corn yesterday. Um, but it looks decent. It looks fairly fresh, not gonna lie. It's not dusted in too bad and um, it's not frozen. So he's heading down towards the swamp, which is kind of where I wanted to go anyway. And I'm going to hop on it right now and see if I can catch up, get it done before we have to leave this afternoon. So stay tuned. We'll see what happens. Hey guys, check this out. That deer just walked over a moose antler. That's cool. far from the track so cool just jumped him I didn't see what he looked like I didn't see him at all but I heard him I heard him jump him I see his running track all right we'll see if we can catch up to him and that concludes my main 2022 rifle deer season <laughs> I walk up.